guidelines are produced um, in response to evidence. And so in 2007, we evaluated the evidence that was out there about how the testing should be done. Uh, but in the meantime, since 2007 till now, other evidence has emerged that have changed some of our recommendations. And so we have to redo the guideline. And in fact, that happens with most guidelines. They have to be redone in response to evidence or in response to confusion in the mind of the people using the guideline about what it really means. In the 2007 guideline, we uh, included a, a category called equivocal, which has caused a lot of consternation, not only with pathologists, but also with clinicians. What do I do if the test is considered equivocal or borderline? So we're going to refine that category and change its name to mandatory retesting and be much more specific about what circ under what circumstances you need to conduct another test on the same or a different sample in order to make sure you know what the real result is on that patient.